This is Paul of the NWO is Bunk channel. The NWO is Bunk. The Illuminati is Bunk. The Reptilians are Bunk. Jewish control of the world is Bunk. It's all Bunk. And the notions of patriotism that I see these days are Bunk as well. When I was a young kid, I wanted to be a patriot. I wanted people to look at me and say, he is a patriot. Now, the word patriot has been perverted, twisted. The Alex Jones crowd, the Jesse Woodrow crowd, the Andrew Napolitano crowd, the Lou Rockwell crowd, the Ron Paul crowd, the Jesse Woodrow crowd. Did I mention that clown, Jesse Woodrow? <sighs> Have all basically gang-raped the word patriot. They run a train on patriot and they perverted it. They perverted it probably even more than the George W. Bush administration did when they attached the word patriot to the thoroughly unconstitutional law known as the Patriot Act. I don't want to be a patriot because a patriot these days is not a hero. A patriot these days is a loud, annoying, obnoxious clown. A patriot is a goofball who stands in the street wearing a t-shirt that says Tyranny Response Squad. A patriot is, you know, some, some creepy old man in a four-cornered hat pretending like he is a uh, a kinsman of the of the founders of this country who stood against against the British. That he's like Benjamin Rush and Thomas Jefferson and John Hancock. But he's not. He's just an he's just an angry white man. That's all he is. He isn't a Renaissance man. He's not someone that's that's mastered uh, three or four languages. Someone that has uh, many and varied interests. No, he's not. He's just an angry man brought there by the rage of the Lou Dobbses of the world and the Alex Joneses and the Jeff Renzes. You know, a patriot these days is somebody that, 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 uh, that shouts about how the government wants to shoot your children full of poisons and call them vaccines. A patriot is someone who claims that there's no law that in the uh, there's no law that says you have to pay a federal income tax they say that uh, you know you can't tax me because you capitalize my name and turn me into a corporation maybe you say the United States doesn't really exist it's a corporate United States you know there's no real president of the United States I don't have to pay taxes I'm an ambassador of the kingdom of Jesus Christ I don't have to pay taxes I have diplomatic immunity that's what a patriot is these days a patriot is <laughs> is someone who looks at the buildings on September 11th falling and says that looks like controlled demolition when they're not a uh, structural engineer. You know, they haven't had experience investigating building collapses. But they're still going to render an opinion. They're going to believe in a conspiracy that is so flimsy that it can be exposed just by watching a few seconds of video. A patriot is somebody who persists in believing that our president, whom I didn't vote for, really isn't a citizen of our country but rather a citizen of Kenya or Indonesia, despite, you know, <laughs> despite no evidence that, uh, that that's the case, uh, despite, you know, a birth announcement that, uh, you know, in the paper, uh, you know, he's, he's still not really the president, and we've got a constitutional crisis in our hands. That's what a patriot is. A patriot is a crazy, crazy person. Who, who says to be a real man, who says to me, in order to be a real man, you better get a gun. You better get a gun. You better get a gun because the shit is eventually going to hit the fan with the Illuminati, the, the, uh, the financial elite, the banksters, 
the reptilians, the Jews! Some, some of you say it's the Jews. You spend all your time arguing about who the real enemy is. Maybe it's the, the illegal Mexican immigrants. Maybe it's the Jews. Maybe it's the reptilians. Maybe it's the, the illuminated ones, the Illuminati, you know? Maybe the reanimated courts of Adam Weishaupt is, is, is somewhere pulling the strings. A patriot is, is someone who, who has a fetish for the U.S. Constitution but has never read it. A person that can't acknowledge the flaws in that amazing document. They probably haven't read it. Maybe they, uh, maybe, but the, maybe they've really read Behold a Pale Horse by William Cooper, and they say that that makes them a patriot. No, I, I don't want to be a patriot. No. Patriotism, is, it's overrated, especially the brand of patriotism that seems to be going around these days. No. I'd rather, I'd rather dedicate myself to looking at the world as calmly as I can. To try to look at the world rationally. And to be free of anxiety and senseless fear. And to let my fellow human beings know that the future is bright and that there really is no reason to be afraid. And there are challenges, no doubt, but we'll be okay. That's really all I have to say. Peace. Let us be free from all anxiety and senseless fear.